thank you. Uh, big thank you to the um, GoFundMe supporters who have uh, kept me alive and uh, under a roof through the winter, uh, even though we've had to move. Um, I'm trying to make it uh, not just a house, but a home, and not just a uh, school space, but, you know, our studio. Uh, having some magic and wonder here. So, thank you. Um, anyway, I think this will be a short update. Uh, so, uh, today is Saturday. I'm trying uh, quite hard to have a rest day. I've done a lot of work, but it's sort of scheduling and writing work, which is pretty restful. Um, and um, so, last week, I... Um, had uh, the first three of five um, SBRT treatments um, and uh, that's uh, the photon treatment for the, the radiation treatment for uh, uh, the uh, masses in the lungs I guess I don't know the term masses or lesions or tumors or whatever Anyway, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, uh, uh, so Wednesday and Friday, um, Barbara and Darcy came to pick me up and take me, um, to the treatments and, uh, you know, uh, share a lunch and a coffee afterwards. So that was, uh, really special. Um, the whole sort of process is, is, is quite, um, kind and also quite efficient. Um, I think I went in I mean, they called me from the waiting room like at precisely, you know, the time that was on my appointment. I think that happened both days. I was there plenty early. Uh, so my second visit, I came a little less early. And my third visit, I came even a little less early. Um, and uh, my understanding was that um, there's two uh, issues in the lung, two locations and one of them requires two sessions and one requires five. I think that's right. And the idea is that the two would overlap um, the last two of the five visits that I make, meaning that these last two would be more lengthy. So I heard something like, uh, I think 45 minutes total time, like you go in and you come out 45 minutes later. So. Maybe that's something like a half hour, you know, actually on the machine. Um, but uh, you know, the first time I went in, um, I think it was something like 15 minutes, you know, from the time they called me in and, you know, I sat down on the machine, laid down on the machine. The second time was something like a half hour or thereabouts. Uh, so that kind of had me confused because why is the second one longer, not the fourth and fifth? Although it didn't matter, I, you know, I didn't have a, I had plenty of time buffered in my schedule. It didn't matter. Uh, and uh, the third one, as I was going in, she's saying this will be a little bit longer. And I asked, and I think she said, you know, 25 or 35 minutes, I think is what she said. But that, like I said, it happened really fast. It's very little time to like check in and ask a bonus question. Um, so I try and when I'm on the machine and they're adjusting me, um, I try and think of like one question I can ask and then look for the time that I think it might be sensible. So I feel like each time I get like one more little bit of information. Um, one of the questions that I had was like how many beams there are. Um, and I didn't, I don't think I got a clear answer. And maybe there isn't one. Maybe that's an archaic question. Uh, but my understanding was, at least for Friday, uh, was that the machine does one pass to image me and then does two passes of, you know, uh, providing the radiation. Um, in the, between those two passes, they would come and adjust me, I guess, is what they told me this time. Uh, they hadn't come to adjust me previously. So the first two, I just is in the machine and I'm guessing it did one pass to image and two passes to, uh, two therapeutic passes, but I don't know that. And maybe that's not important or interesting. Um, 
the 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 second and third visits they had difficulty adjusting me or the machine or like getting everything positioned basically um and the second time i was uh a, a bit uh, the first time i was reasonably comfortable um i'm kind of in this sort of position in the machine um uh, and the second time i was less comfortable they kind of i felt like they jammed me up further and into like a fairly firm head fit sort of shape so it kind of brought my neck into extension so i felt like a little compressed this way but not not even as much as i'm showing you just a little uncomfortable but i'm a martial artist i could be uncomfortable in positions and be fine for a long time both mentally emotionally and physically um and then yesterday the third time it was even more uncomfortable and they were having trouble like the machine was bumping my elbow um and which they noticed and you know so they didn't proceed and they were you know it's like a team of four people i think and they're kind of like discussing well i can move one cm this way and i'm 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 superior to that mark and are, how are you lined up how much room do you go i don't have a sense of all the things they're adjusting or what's available to adjust but at any rate yesterday um they uh uh were having some difficulty getting me into the machine i guess i mean and for my part i just lay down on the table like you know it's like but i don't know i i don't really understand and maybe this is a different pass and so they're actually trying to do a different thing than the first two times uh and this was the difficult one i don't know but the initial time I went into a different machine, what they call a 4D CT scan, which is a few weeks ago, that's where I guess they're mapping it and developing a plan. Like we're gonna approach from here and then later we'll approach from here or whatever. Um, and um, you know that was something like 45 minutes in there and, and I was fine. And uh, yesterday, they um ultimately said you know what we can't make this work today so you can go home and so i kind of got up and got dressed and all that um but i had a, i kind of dressed slowly so i could ask a couple questions uh, and basically she said um we can't complete the circuit you know and i think it's because it was bumping my elbow and, you know okay um and uh we only got a partial completion of the circuit of the imaging circuit so we can't really use that to give us the information about how we can adjust because we didn't get the visual we wanted so basically she said we have to make another plan um and by the way no problem this happens and we're, like nobody was frustrated but they were had a little challenge um and so I don't know if this means I, they will reschedule my therapy, the duration of it will change, uh, I'll have to add more therapies because I don't know, I don't think yesterday counted as a full one. So I think it was like they got one of the two targets or they didn't do the first, uh, but they tried, I'm not quite sure. But it did seem like they weren't going to just sort of off the cuff it and say, oh, let's try and adjust this and oh, let's go. And they told me, like, they have to have a plan and they have to stick to the plan and they can't vary. And basically, they couldn't adjust to the plan they had while I was there. So, and they couldn't use the new imaging. That might mean I have to go in to get re imaged, which would, I assume, then delay my therapy. I, I don't know. Um, and, uh, but it seemed to me that I'll just return. I'm supposed to go on Monday and Wednesday again. And maybe. It'll take a little bit longer to adjust me, or maybe I'll just be there a little longer because now they have to do one of the double sessions. I don't really know. But as I sit here now, uh, I'm just planning to go there Monday and Wednesday and then I'm done. Um, uh, but I'll check, you know, I'll check in on my, uh, there's an app for the Yale medical system. And so I'll check in and see if there's, a, you know, a message or a change in the appointment or anything. Uh, meanwhile, I did secure a new doctor who I will see on, I think, Tuesday, March 12th. So Monday, I'll have therapy. Tuesday, I'll see the new doctor. And 
Wednesday I'll have the final therapy or you know such is the plan um, and that new doctor is a medical oncologist uh, Dr. Lim who I am expecting will replace Dr. Stein who I've talked about on this a few times uh, and I've heard great things and so I'm very excited about that um, I also learned that my radiation oncologist is leaving the practice um, like moving out of state or something but I'm expecting that she's not leaving before my therapy is done on Wednesday. Again, such is the plan now. So that was just a little bit of information, but not, I don't think it will affect me. Um, uh, so uh, anyway, uh, in terms of uh, outcomes, uh, you know, just almost nothing to remark in terms of the effects uh, that I've noticed side effect wise. I'm definitely still tired and the endurance is low, but I've also been pushing really hard to get a lot of things off the ground here and travel and teach and do new classes and keep up with classes and work on the house and uh, trying to do my part to earn money so I'm not just asking for it on GoFundMe. Um, uh, so anyway, I think that's it. My expectation is next week after I meet Dr. Lim, if I can find a little bit of time, I'll then have a better idea of the prognosis and plan. Uh, and then I can update you guys. Um, then, um, I sent out a recent newsletter, so hopefully you've gotten that. Um, and, uh, uh, thanks to all those, uh, dropping off, um, you know, donations of, uh, food and money and gift cards and groceries and stuff like that. It's been really, really helpful. Um, and uh, probably soon we'll put together a day where we get people to come by and help just uh, in the yard, and you know, to start the season off, get things ready in terms of the landscaping. That would be uh, really good, you know, clean out the gutters and um, plant a few things. So if you're up for that, reach out and we'll put it together. Love. Thank you.